first finish. Luc Enfant for France was the next man to power out of the gate, wearing the familiar red bib, indicating that he leads the downhill tour standings after three competitions. Alfon is also the defending tour champion and has won the downhill crystal globe for the past two seasons. It was here in 1995 that the Frenchman denied Christian Gadina the downhill title by winning here at the end of the season in the World Cup finals. Those fond memories were to be relived by Luc Alphon, who once again set a scintillating pace on the top section of the course, but most importantly, tactically challenging the Stelvio run. <laughs> Sixth at the opener in home snow in Val d'Azur, he settled in Val Gardena to a first and a second in rounds two and three. There's nothing better than Alphon likes beating the French and also, of course, beating the Austrians. And Luc Alphon, one of the few skiers to save a little energy, to change up a gear in the closing stages and to tactically get the better of the Austrian challenges. Ten years the senior to Pepe Strobel. Here in Bormio, Italy, it was time for the master to teach the young apprentices a lesson or two. He's had his fair share of injuries, but here in the last race of 1996, Luc Alphon was back and back to his best with a vengeance. 1.05 seconds quicker than Joseph Strobel. Luc Alphon's arch-rival for the downhill title over the past two seasons, from Italy at least, has been Christian Gadina. From Austria, it's been Patrick Ortlieb. Ortlieb absent from today's competition, suffering from a stomach upset. Gadina was the winner of the last downhill of the season just eight days ago in Val Gardena, Italy, in front of an ecstatic Italian crowd. Once again, over 10,000 Italian supporters had lined the Stelvio piste to cheer Gadina on throughout the course. And at halfway, the double was looking good. In the World Championships last year, Gadina pushed Alphon into the bronze medal position, with only Ortley bettering the Italian and the French stars. A car crash some five years ago almost wrote off Gadina's career. Many thought he would not return, but this in the 96 and 97 season will be Gadina's best year for many. There is one man that Gadina needs to beat if he's to claim the crystal globe of downhill, and that is, of course, Luc Alphon. He's done it once, but the repeat was not on the cards. Just under two tenths down at the last intermediate time, and Gadina, unlike Alphon, was looking a little tired, a little ragged in the lower turns. No question, the greatest cheer of the day, but the 27-year-old from Cortina did not have the strength or the speed in the skis to deny Luc Alphon his second victory of the season. The double would not go Gadina's way, and he has to settle for second spot. 0.67 of a second down on his arch-rival from Serre Chevalier, Luc Alphon, who'd seen off his main threat of the day.